In this video, we'll see how to fetch data in your Next.js project when you are using your app router. So in one of the early videos, we showed like how to fetch data inside the Next.js project using uh, while you're using a pages router. So here we'll focus on app router. So app router and pages router differ quite a bit. So inside uh, app router or like inside pages router, we had get server side props function where we used to make our API calls and all on the server side. Here we won't be having any get server side props function. So this is a basic uh, next day is app uh, boil page. This is the basic next day is app with pages router. So as you can see here, I have the SRC folder inside. I have app folder and inside I have something called a dashboard and a login. So these two are separate pages a dashboard page and a login page and here I have my layout the root layout if you see if I run the page by default it will show the the default pages here which is inside the app so app has a default page I'll just run the application for clarity <coughs> so here we have our next is application so here as you can see this is the default page that is being rendered this default page is this one page.tsx right so here you can see the default page then we have two other pages on two different routes one is dashboard and it's login if i go to dashboard this is the dashboard page i'll go back i'll go to login and this is the login page so that's how we have different pages here now to make an api call inside on our server side you need to go to either of these two pages. I'll just go to the login page here. Inside, I'll write a function to make the API call. Const get data. And this will be an async function here. We'll be making use of the fetch API here to make the API call. So I'll be using uh, the JSON placeholder APIs here. <laughs> once we can wait on this fetch call, once you have the response, we'll just check if the response is okay. If it is not, we'll just throw a new error. <coughs> Fail to fetch API data. If not, we'll simply return the response.json. Now using this data, we can make this get data function call inside our login method here and make this async inside pi data i'll make a call to get data now this will be no wait here now once we have the data we can try loading the data here json.stringify pi data okay, it's showing some error okay this needs to be nested in some common stuff i'll a fragment here and what is inside now this looks good okay now let's go to our login page to see how it works now this is how you make an api call on your server side and inside the apps router so i just go to the page here yeah here so if you go to our home page from there if you go to login page you can see this is the data that is being rendered just to be sure that the data is not being called on the client side or something i'll just go to network tab i'll reload the page as you can see here we don't have any calls to the api endpoint the only call that is being made it's to the login endpoint for fetching the document as you can see here and if you check the response of this thing so this data the api response data it's coming from the server side only so that's how you make or like fetch data from a server side in app router in next days I hope you find this video useful. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.